What's up? Hi, guys. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, everyone is doing well. Right. How are you, babe? I'm making it. <laughs> Me too. I um finished my assignment that's due for tomorrow. I haven't fully gotten started on my paper. That's due on Sunday, but we're here. I'm going to probably always say something about um, having uh, having some work to do because <laughs> I'm in school and it's it feels like an everyday thing. Right. Because it is an everyday thing. <laughs> but yeah, so um, we just came off a vacation. Yeah. Like it's been a few days, but... <laughs> yeah. We're back, as you can tell. We're back home. Um, we had a wonderful time. Um, our main goal was just to kind of relax. There's a thing. That makes sense. Sorry about this, people. I was wondering why my video was... Wi-Fi was okay. on. Oh, got you. So I was like, I don't know. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, yeah, so why does this uh, keep doing this? Uh, <laughs> We're supposed to be tech savvy, babe. Well, see, here's the thing I keep turning well, let's the, do this. the thing off, and it just and then that way, if it pops back on, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> But yeah, so like I said, we are just, um, we're back from vacation. Right. Um, and we just was focused on um, relaxing and getting away from the stress of everything. Right. Um, I tried to finish all my work before we left for school. That's been paying out, but I didn't have to worry about doing any of my work until right. Sunday after we had came back. Right. So. Right, right. So, yeah. Um, and I just came back from work. Um, yeah. And that, that, that's pretty <laughs> much it. Just got home from work. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So, forgive me if I'm a little, you know. Right. We're just kind of like, uh. And, um, <laughs> just, for, just forgive that. Um, we're going to give a few more minutes for, you know, some people to, to jump yeah. in. Um, I applaud you though. He, he literally came in and was just like started to set up what he needed to set up. Yeah, you know, um, might as well. I mean, you know, when you when you say you're gonna be committed to doing something, yeah, um, it can be stressful. It can be tiresome, but, but yeah, but hopefully, it's... right? Yeah, hopefully, you know, the people who chime in who get to see our videos they are getting something from them and they are uh, hopefully you guys appreciate it yeah bit. yeah um mm -hmm. but yeah so what we're going to talk about today is um uh, about a month or so ago i had a conversation with a group of ladies um regarding the topic of marriage um and they had some awesome questions and we had such a great um dialogue about um marriage and relationships and um and it was just women um it's the honeybee society um founder of uh, april boyd uh richardson uh excuse me i did that backwards april richardson boyd um mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse me chris uh she's married <laughs> um and she put it together and we had a conversation about marriage and some ladies asked some great questions and one of those questions um was regarding uh secrecy like is it a harm or is it a problem or right. maybe not problematic but um is it okay to keep secrets in your relationship um right okay which was never really a question for me like in my mind, for maybe most people think this way, you know, you don't keep secrets. Um, but there are some instances, I would say, after having the conversation with the ladies and um, just thinking about it a little bit more, how, um, you know, certain instances, some people um, feel it's 
beneficial or necessary to keep secrets um, from their spouse right, or from, from their partner. partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what do you think about that? Like when you hear that, because again, it was a group of women. So right. <laughs> um, it's it's tricky because I guess it I guess it really kind of depends on what you're classifying as a secret. Right? Yeah. Um, energy. I guess it really <laughs> depends on what you're classifying as a secret. If you it's like, and a really good example is you know like birthday gifts, birthday parties, you know surprise. Technically, those are secrets, right? Yeah. Those are things that you're hiding from your partner, right? And right. So, um, things of that nature. I mean, of course, you're going to keep that a secret because you're trying to surprise, surprise them, you're trying to do something, yeah. whatever. Um, but on a similar note, but not quite um, exactly the same in every instance, is you know financial secrets, right? Am I am I uh, having a secret cash flow? You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Or a secret stash of money? Um, pardon. Which we've we've kind of discussed a little bit before. I I personally. Don't think that I, that that is a problem, assuming it is not a hindrance to you guys' uh, building of your home and building yeah. of your life together, right? I think everybody should um, should have some reserve store. You know what I mean? Especially like like we've talked about in the past. If if I'm a little bit more financially. Um, Stable Savvy. before, yeah. financially responsible than you, then it makes sense for me yeah. to have a little something on the side um, that you that you're unaware of because you know with the idea and the concept of if you become aware of it, then you're gonna try to get it, you're gonna try to spend it, whatever, or yeah. vice versa. Um, so, and in, in, as a whole, I don't think secrets are. Are, are bad, mm -hmm. right? Um, I don't think there, in my opinion, there are many absolutes mm -hmm. um, in relationship or in life in general. Um, majority of things are not absolute black, white, and there's no right. in between. You know, there there are gray areas, or rather, there are um, there are edge cases. In, in any scenario that that could be beneficial or not beneficial depending on how the situation lands. Right. right. So, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's my... Right. That's why I said it, it depends on um, the individuals and their circumstances. Right. Um, and not to be always on a negative or the worst case scenario. Right, right, um, right. If you are, you know, in a rocky relationship um, mm -hmm. and things... You know, you have to do certain things. Um, it's kind of like the same thing with the financial things. You have to do certain things um, that to make sure you're covered. To make sure you're covered um, in your relationship, and you can't let your partner know. Um, but kind of like the overall, um, when people hear secrets from your partner, um, kind of like me when I heard secret keeping secrets. No, I don't keep secrets. It's um, basically kind of like, oh, am I doing something that I have no business doing and my husband doesn't know? Right, um, yeah. Those are the secrets that we say no, we shy away from um, because it breaks down communication. It breaks down trust um, within the relationship. Um, and I always give the whole disclaimer of do what's best for your relationship Right. Um, but, um, when we go into relationships, when we go into marriages and we have this whole, um, yeah, certain things I just, I'm not going to talk to my spouse about, yeah. or I can't let my spouse know when we go in with that mentality, we are setting, setting ourselves up for failure. Right. Um, right. I don't, and, and I'll say it like this, um, I don't think that there should be secrets or topics of discussion that you're unwilling to discuss with right. your partner. Um, right, because uh, some of the girls were just like, well, my partner hasn't asked me about that, so 
Right. Um, if you haven't asked, you know, like stuff from their past. You know, if if you hadn't asked me about that, then I'm not going to just disclose that to you because that's something that happened in my past. Right. It doesn't necessarily hinder us or, you know. And the, the, the weird thing about that to me is um, I don't understand how how you how you get to the point of oh well well you haven't asked me so I'm not gonna say anything about mm-hmm. it. you know that to me is kind of weird um mm-hmm. I, I get it you know some things may be may be a touchy subject or whatever the case may be but at the same time I'm, I'm kind of like well if if we're if we spent the time dating and and then engage and we're looking to grow and build together I don't see how you can get to a two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 year relationship. And let's just say it is something really traumatizing that, you know, that stirs up a lot. Even still, I don't see how you get to those, you know, long, meaningful relationships without having those conversations of this is an area of, you know, of trouble for me, or this is a, this is a struggle point for me, Mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, whatever, because again, that, that point of sensitivity, like we've discussed before, can hinder the growth of the relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I may be triggering you and not know it. Right. And so to me, that's why I said there shouldn't be anything that you shouldn't be willing to right. discuss. You know? Right. And that's what I mean, they weren't necessarily saying that they want they aren't willing to discuss it. Um and that I think that response came in especially with the whole um having how many sexual partners have you had and stuff like that? Yeah, if their yeah, partner yeah. hasn't asked them, it's like they're not willing to just, like, oh, hey, I yeah, I've about. had sex with 10 people. And it's just like, and like I didn't really want to know that. Or And some people may not. <laughs> some people, some people some may people not want don't. that information. But, but me personally, right. I'm like, no. I think I that mean, was one of the, we definitely had that conversation Early on, on the front end, yeah. yeah, and it's just like me personally, I want to know. Mm. Um, not so much because you know I'm I'm gonna get upset or who you you know like it's gonna change right. my perception of you per se. Right, but I need I to know where I stand. You want to know if I walk past somebody? Right, like, yeah, like like seriously. Do you if, know that person? <laughs> right, yeah. because really extreme case but I know some individuals like this Mm -hmm. um if you're if if we're 22 23 years old 25 years old 30 years old and we're talking about taking that step to going beyond just casual hey how you doing uh we talking we're dating to let's build together I want to know if you if you if you had a hundred partners, a hundred and fifty partners, because I know people. If you had that, I mean, don't know them people, <laughs> right? No, serious. But if you had, if you had, no judgment, no, no, shame. no shade. <laughs> but if you had that many partners, mm-hmm. then and and I know we're in a small circle. Yeah. Then that cha- now again, if you say a hundred partners across, now still that's a lot. But if you say a hundred partners across the entirety of the United States, okay, because you've been traveling your whole life. I was like, where have you been? But then if you say a hundred partners and I've never left Henrico, the city of Richmond, I've never left the city of Richmond. That's excessive. (laughs) And I need to know because now the, like you said, Mm -hmm. the chances of, of us walking through random Walmart and then someone saying, Oh hey, I ain't seen you in a long time, and that being a person you've been with, that those chances have now skyrocketed in my mm-hmm. mind, and now I have some decisions to make. Not only about my pursuit of you, not that it again it doesn't change my opinion of the of who you are as a person, right. but I have decisions to make not only of my pursuit of you, but where does this place me from a personal safety standpoint, both my health. Okay. And some people out here in this these streets is crazy. They, they, you know, they are. And it's not all and it's not just about sexuality, folks. That's not what we're saying. Um, because I mean, you know, you could have you could have secrets of, you know, I used to gamble. 
Then that's I need to know that. And were you a I good gambler a, or a bad gambler? Right, I had a gambling addiction or I had mm-hmm. a drinking addiction or whatever and I and I'm working through these, that. These you are, know what I mean? They are definitely important. Um again, this is where the whole uh your whatever you feel is necessary for your relationship to come in. If you want to, you know, have a long lasting, honest, trustworthy um, relationship, you have to take it upon yourself and say, is this something that if it was my partner, would they want to know or would right. I want to know? You know what I'm saying? Because things like that, like if you are a gambler, if Derek was a gambler, I want to know. Because I like my dollars too much right. to just throw But it. if you were, I need to know that because I like to be provided for. Now, Whether I'm working or not, I need to I need to know our finances are secure. I will say this. I'm not a gambler, but I do play cards. Yeah, but you don't. Okay. All right. That don't have any. What? That was an overshare. Anyway. <laughs> was it though? Yes. I mean. But, are you trying to recruit people to come play space? No, no, no. I'm not trying to take people's money. No, we're not. I'm not saying gamble. So. Ooh. It's not a gamble. <laughs> If you know you gonna win. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, it is a gamble because because mm. people cheat. And I said what I said. So he's the cheater, guys. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm not though. I'm not. No. Nah. But yeah, you definitely um you want to take in consideration your partner. Um, like those ladies said, uh, if you didn't ask me about certain things, I'm not gonna disclose certain things. Right. But if you know you're the type of individual. Um, or your partner is the type of individual that this stuff is important to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We might have to say, hey, I know we haven't discussed it yet, but I know that you would like, like I would think that you would know, want to know this information. Right. So let's talk about this information. Um, you definitely, I don't keep secrets from my husband. And I would hope that he doesn't keep secrets from me. Right. Um, I may not know how much money he got in his other little savings account, but I know it's there. Um, the amount doesn't matter to me as long as, you know, all our bills are getting paid. Um, the things that we need to have for our livelihood mm-hmm. is provided for. Um, he's going to work every day. He ain't no crackhead. Um, that's a whole nother, <laughs> nother thing. Crack on <laughs> I said you're not though. <laughs> but yeah. You so, a different thing other than crack. Okay, weed. That's... That's about to be legalized, if not already. Side note, I just found out from a co-worker today mm-hmm. that apparently, as of today, okay. you can have up to four weed plants in or on your home and personal property, just so long as it's not see, it's not visible by from the road in Virginia. Why? I don't know. That's, that's just an announcement <laughs> that a guy, he was like heading out, and he's just like... He just say, like, "All right, guys, see you later." Just so you know. So he was going either going <laughs> to the store to get his. Plate. I don't know. Not, I don't know the store, but I don't know what he was doing. But uh, but he wasn't keeping it a secret. It's well, all. I'm saying. It's all. If I'm it's saying. not visible, what does that? I mean, what does that matter? I don't. I don't know. That's just apparently, according to him, that's the way the rule is. Written. Guys, that's a secret so, that he could have kept. He could have <laughs> kept that one. He really could have kept that one. He could have kept that secret but, to know, just, just that's hilarious. Just put it out there. <laughs> Interesting hilarious. thing that happened to me at work today. <laughs> I found out you can grow four weed plants as long as they're not visible. What are y'all from doing the road work? in Virginia as of today? That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would like to hear some of you guys chime in. Um, I know oh, yeah, for sure. we don't have other people on, just a, a lot of people on right now. But um, chime in when you do watch this video. Yeah. Like, what are some things that you feel like you have to or is a necess- necessary necessary necessity mm-hmm. to that wording was hard then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to keep secret from your partner, the, like the, the you, girl on uh, on Critical Role, she calls it bacon lips. Bacon. <laughs> when you try to say your, your mouth just ain't working, she right. said bacon lips. So, I can't. Apparently, you had bacon lips. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Like what are what are some things that like I can't think of really any things to keep secret. I mean, I know um, 
this, this may not be a secret. Tell us y'all secrets in the comments. No, I'm just I can't. That. I know that, you know, with women, we have extra stuff that goes on in our lives um, that men don't have um, that time of the month um, that some ladies don't feel comfortable having that conversation. With. And I don't really know how you how live in a house. A I don't know how you live in a house with your partner and not know what's going on like are you not having children and you know <laughs> so you know like y'all are with me so yeah I don't know how you that's, that's a secret how do, how do you keep that like don't come in here lock the door and We were all <laughs> Dominic said bacon lips. Bacon lips. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sounds like y'all with them ducks. No, oh yeah, ducks. <laughs> Hashtag ducks. No. <laughs> anyway. Oh, the family know what ducks are. Right. Jamar knows what ducks are. We don't want ducks. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I don't really know how. Um, because if, for me... Um, well, for that certain situation, I don't understand how you could um, not have that uh, conversation. And what things would you keep? Like, for real, for like, there shouldn't be a lot of secrets. Right. Yeah. In your, your relationship. And your rela yeah, like, secrets. Because if I'm having a conversation with somebody and I'd be like, shh, shh, you can't tell. Shh, my husband don't know. Yeah, that's that's really, that's. That's, like, that doesn't even sound right coming out of my mouth. That's like the reddest of flags. Right? Like, the most red of flags. Right. Faith says she thinks that you should tell your partner so trust can be built. Right? Because if I if I feel as though that, oh, I, I gotta keep this from my husband, and then like, later on, he found finds out that this is something I knew that could hinder one of us. Um, right. It's just like, well, why didn't you tell me that? Like, that's why, and that's why I said, that's why I said, it's, I don't think that you necessarily have to disclose every single thing, but there shouldn't be anything that you're not willing to disclose. Right. Because right. if I sit here and just be like, yeah, so there, when I was one, da, 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 da. That's okay. Like, I literally have to go there and make sure I tell you everything. I don't even remember everything in my life. Right. Now, some might come up and be like, oh, yeah, let me tell you about this time. Right. That's totally fine. But sitting here saying, I'm going to, one, throw everything on the line that happened in my life that I feel like you should know, that's impossible. Right. Yeah. But yeah. also to say that I, I'm going to keep secrets from you, I'm I'm willingly going to keep secrets from you, no. Like, and, and, that's what, and that's why I said earlier, for those just chiming in, what, you know, uh, Shamir says no judgment zone. Right, right. I tell you, you tell me. We, you know, we keep right. it, keep the floodgates open, right? And I, I totally agree. And that, but it, like I said, that, it, it also depends that's on that what trust. Your, yeah, it also depends on, like I said earlier, what you're classifying as a secret. Because if I'm, if I'm trying to, the example was if I'm trying to surprise you with a birthday gift, mm -hmm. then yeah, I'm definitely not telling you that I'm surprising you with, right. with tickets to whatever, right. you know, concert for your birthday. Like, I'm not telling you that. Yeah. Yeah. But at me. the same time, that's not like that. I don't classify that as a secret. No, no. You know that's, you know I mean? And that's why we have to define what is the What's, secret. What do you, what do we what call is the secret? Secrets? Like the no judgment zone. Like I've had this in the, in the past, um, before Derek, it was literally like, just go ahead and tell me the truth. That's what the person told me. Just go ahead and tell me the truth. And when I told them the truth and was expecting the truth in return, it was just like, one, you, he didn't believe me. Right. Two, you didn't tell me your secrets. So I'm just like, so should I have made up something? <laughs> I mean, because, but it's about the trust thing. Um, yeah. Faith says, if you want to know, ask me. Right. No one else, right? Go to the goose. What yeah, is it? go to the, the source. The source. It's the maybe. goose. All right, the goose. Go to the goose. <laughs> go to the bacon <laughs> lips. Go to the goose. Time is a go. Soup. Go to the horse. That's it. It's the horse. 
straight from the horse's mouth. Right, go to the, you but you got to go to the horse to get it straight from the horse's sure, mouth. Sure, sure. Right, people? Not, not the goose. <laughs> duck, duck. It's the horse. Goose. I don't know why I said goose. Right. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Um, yeah, so, you know, chime in. Let us know, you know, what you guys think about keeping secrets. Um, yeah. Wh- when are secrets acceptable, in your opinion, right. if they are acceptable at any point? Um, and know that um, if anybody's watching this, and if you do have a secret to tell your, your partner, um, I would advise you to tell them. That would uh, help. But also be aware of those consequences. Um, we always think of it as bad when we hear consequences. consequences. Right. But, I mean, there are some positives in there as well. But let's be real. A consequence of going to work every day on time and performing well is you getting paid getting your paycheck, you're getting yeah. raised, you're getting promotions, whatever. So consequences are good and bad. Um, so all secrets aren't bad. Right. Um, and all consequences aren't bad. You mm-hmm. know, just like they're not always good. So, you know, but either way, we we want to make sure we keep the lines of communication open. You yeah. know? That's um, what we're we're um that's what we're founded on. Like right. honest communication. Right. Um because at the end of the day, if we don't have that, um, amongst other things, yeah. we, we, we can't grow. You can't grow. You can't build. You, you're you not going to be happy. Let's just be brief. You're not. Um, it's, it's just going to be. The trust is not going to be there. A whole bunch of misery. Right. So, um, yeah, that being said, we're going to let y'all go. We ain't going to hold you too much longer. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. Yeah. Go ahead and um, inbox us if you have any questions, any topics that you would like us to talk about. Um, again, I don't even remember our email. It's, uh, it's somewhere back there. We'll all find things marriage email. dot sixteen at gmail. Sure. Or right. hit up the inboxes, DM us, um, and we'll make a video talking about it. Quick announcement. Um, okay. Quick announcement. We're gonna try to launch the 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 Facebook group we were talking okay, about. Okay, the exercise group. Yeah. The the wellness the wellness group. group. Right. I'm gonna try to launch that. I want to say next week. Okay. Um. And again, for those who who haven't heard about it yet, um, we're basically gonna we basically want to have a a wellness group. Um, dedicated to keeping each other accountable and checking in for those of us who are trying to maybe lose weight, for those who may be trying to gain weight or, eat or you know, eat healthier, get in shape, you know, just lead overall physically and mentally healthier lives. We're gonna we're trying to put put together a Facebook group and a an area where we can kind of go and communicate and you know see each other's progress, encourage each other. So we're going to be trying to launch that, um, plan to launch next week. Yeah, and if um, y'all know any um, any chefs that can just cook my food for me, I'm done. Ignore that last <laughs> time. <laughs> but um, other than that, that's the only announcement for today, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, I have nothing. No secrets here. And uh, yeah, until next week. All right. Keep the lines of communication open, guys. All right. And uh, see you next time. Bye. Deuces. You know you got to stop it up there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. He don't know. I do know. (laughs)